on our red white and blue necklace and this is kind of a little fourth of july one but we're going to keep this one fairly simple we're not going to put a lot of um detail into it because i think the simplicity uh, really sets it off so what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece and i took a pencil and I was trying to d divide it into thirds, and for me, I have a hard time, and I don't know why, than doing it with um, my tools or anything. And then I thought, you know, it's kind of like a peace sign. And once I kind of put that into my head, it was a lot easier. So I have my thirds, and I'm going to be using my um, stipple brushes with the wax to apply it on, and I'm kind of warming it up, the brushes in the wax, to get them a little bit more pliable and then we're just going to put them right on our gourd piece there and we've got our red and the blue I'm going to use red white and blue but I'm using the blue and I lightened it up with the white just a tad to get that nice color of blue that I want all right, and then my white. Now, if your white's been sitting for a little bit, stir it up. It is one color that likes to separate from the wax more than any of the others, and I'm not really sure why that is. It's, I don't know if it's the amount of pigment it has in it or what. So I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute and cool off, and then I'm going to go ahead and put another white coat over the top because it just seems a little bit thinner and I want it just a little bit more um, thicker and it wasn't quite dry there you don't want to put it on while it's still um, too warm because the it just moves the wax around so you kind of let it cool all the way off and then we come back in and then we put that second coat on. Okay, so we've got that second coat on. So that is a lot better. So we're gonna go over to our heat gun. And on this, I'm gonna heat this up and I'm not gonna move it around a lot. And I'm gonna be using my bigger tool and what I'm gonna do, on my other one I took two sections and pulled it, but I think I'm gonna try and get three. And I'm just moving three from each direction into the next color. So let's go ahead and get our heat gun. Now I've got my heat gun up more, and I'm also gonna take my tool and warm it up under the heat gun so that it's nice and warm so that I can move my piece around or my wax around and it's not cold. Just get those warmed up there. Warm up my tool one more time. Two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, Two, three. Okay. Now we're gonna leave that, and I'm really not happy with that. Um, I think it's not as simple as this one is. So let's take this and let's do it one more time. So I'm just gonna wipe it off, and that's what's really great about this is if you don't like it, you redo it and. Don't be afraid to redo them. I did a lot of mine a few times first. So I'm going to put my design back on. I'm going to start with the white this time so that it so it cools by the time we want to get back into it again. I'm going to go back to only pulling two in between. I don't think 
think three was too much and it just kind of muddied it and like I said this piece is more about being simple and also another thing I know that I did is I didn't let the white cool long enough so it was the first color to heat up and it blew kind of thin and I don't want that either so we're gonna let that cool off just a little bit more and then I'm also gonna put a little bit of glitter in one of the colors and a little bit of silver this is a bigger glitter this has got like octagon uh, shape in it so I want to put that into the white to or excuse me I put it into the blue to kind of give it a fourth of July sparkler feeling so I'm gonna set that right there and so we're gonna go ahead and try this one more time and I'm gonna start with the other colors under the gun a little bit so we get them warmed up warm up my tool again Just let that kind of warm up. This is why I really like having the hanger available to put your gun on. And I'm going to go ahead and just pull twice. I'm going to wipe it in between two. One, wipe, two, wipe, one, and two. And I'm much, much happier with that. Now, real quick, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the plasma glitter right into the red just to give it that extra sparkle. And then we're going to do just a couple of these octagons, not very much in that blue. And I didn't have that really warm, so we're going to heat that up just a tad, just to set those down into that. Okay. Now, we're going to let that cool for a minute, and then we're going to apply our sealer over the top and I use um, the Maj Paj but it's the Dimensional Magic make sure it's the Dimensional Magic not the Maj Paj by itself it's real important this gives it a nice hard coating and it's made to apply really really thick and unfortunately our gourd pieces aren't always um, nice and a flat so we're going to apply it with a brush just not straight out of the lid and I suggest doing three to five coats of this it's really really important so that if your wax get warm it doesn't melt underneath and I always tell you test your product um, if you're somewhere where it's going to be warm or it's going to be worn in the sun always test your product so we've waited for this to cool and we're gonna come and remove our wax off the edges so there we are not going to put the dimensional magic sealer on the side so it's real important to get this wax off and the stain is okay to leave that's not a big deal leave this the stain color behind just make sure that you've removed all of the wax part of it out of there and make sure you've got all of your wax pieces off the top of your design before you start to put that on but one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to trim just around the edge just a little bit what we're hoping for is this brings that wax up just a little bit and gives our sealer a great seal around the edges so that we have that nice and sealed in. Okay, you do not shake your dimensional magic. We're just going to open it. It's the first time I've ever had that happen. A little lid stuck in there. Didn't know they did that. We're going to open it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply just a little bit around the edges. And I'm going to take my brush 
and I'm gonna pull it over to the edge and I'm actually gonna go off the edge just a tad so we're actually sealing that color in and we're gonna come back now and we're going to put a bunch of it on and it's better to have too much than not enough and our brush is just gonna kind of basically use to move it around and what it's gonna do is kind of just settle you don't want any big chunks on the edge and you're gonna just get this coat across the top and if you see your brush marks you're not doing it thick enough so go back and add some more so we've got that nice and coated now go ahead and put your other coats like we talked about on and the last coat you want to dry at least three hours before we get ready to do the necklace part of it so come on back and we'll finish it up